Hi, I'm Angelo Dali, an artificial intelligence expert, and today I'm going to be talking about how artificial intelligence can help in healthcare. AI can assist doctors and medical practitioners in various different ways, one of them being in better diagnosis. For example, if you look at uh, medical imaging, AI can help in, in making better diagnosis and in analyzing the imagery better. AI can also take blood results and other lab results, typical common tests, and also check the type of results, whether they're abnormal, and try to find out patterns of diseases that have happened. AI is also helping at the forefront. For example, right now there were a lot of outbreaks of coronavirus and other diseases in finding typical novel drug discovery methods. So what happens typically? AI looks at the structure of the proteins that are on these viruses and also on bacteria and tries to find a better custom-made drug that will target specific cells and sites uh, that will try to kill or somehow inactivate these substances and also living beings that are infecting us. And uh, this is one major way in which AI can help healthcare. The healthcare of the future is also going to um, be involved more and more into continuous monitoring of people. So you will have things like wearables that are more advanced, that are constantly monitoring your health, and also raising alerts and helping doctors making better diagnosis. Also detecting abnormalities and cases where you should go for a checkup by a human doctor or maybe in the future AI doctors. I think that the healthcare of the future, everyone will be having their own little AI doctor that is constantly monitoring you, that is constantly making that you are at your better performance and flagging up issues that you should discuss further. I do not believe that AI um, uh, in healthcare is going to replace people. I think it should be used as a tool that will assist people in giving them better quality of service and also at a cheaper cost. And I think that by having the expertise of the best medical expertise available to you in your smartphone or in remote places, you are going to achieve better results and better quality of life as a result. I think AI in healthcare can also help manage hospitals and also other places more efficiently and reduce waste. I think the waste reduction and the potential to reduce costs and also to make things more efficient will all impact people's lives very positively. This together with drug discovery and also making sure that things like diseases are tracked and reported very efficiently to make sure that there are proper statistical analysis and also sharing of data. One of the ways that AI can also help in drug discovery is to shorten the amount of time um, leading from a new outbreak, for example, of a new disease, to the discovery of a treatment. And uh, one of the ways that this can be done is to make sure that there are proper records of the different types of treatments and different types of substances that are being given and tested on people, especially in an emergency where you do not have enough time to conduct a proper randomly controlled trial, an RCT, which is the gold standard in drug discovery. By aggregating information from different um, sites around the world and potentially applying certain statistical um, analysis to them and also modifications to them, you can effectively have information that is very close to a control trial and be able to find effective treatments much more quickly than with traditional methods. Obviously, the gold standard always remains the clinical trials and these are the best way to ensure public health safety, but in times when uh, there is an emergency, these methods are really, really useful and can really lead to a lot of improvement. AI can also help in other ways, not just in, in drug discovery, but also in patient healthcare. In certain areas, maybe in areas that are not completely related to healthcare themselves. For example, with dementia patients, AI can help keep better records of what has happened, better, for example, photos and memories that are used to juggle a patient's memory and helpfully um, make them deteriorate slower or even help them get a better quality of life. So AI, I think, will be pervasive in the future. AI is going to lead to a better quality of life and better health outcomes for all of us. I hope that you've enjoyed listening and I would like to hear your comments in the comment section below, whether you're a healthcare practitioner, a patient or just a concerned citizen. Thank you for listening and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode.